dream of a single currency. How realistic is the starting with you, Mr. Tech? Right. I, um, I really like the question, how realistic? It's a big dream. It's uh, a big vision. And uh, we, we are first to notice that the, the vision is not only from today. It goes right from 1963, where our Union of Africa was put in. I put on, and uh, later on, anyway, this it was stressed again in 2001. The 53 members, they, they came out with the new view of the globalization in the world to stress and promise that in 2021, the single currency was going to come up. Uh, but how far are we today? I think that the problems, we have to look at the problems really deeply and honestly, not only sticking to dreams, how possible it is. Because today there is an important issue. We have seen how successful the, 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 the European Union has come up with its own euro and how it has been successful to them. But also we need to be aware that that success comes from 50 years of work, of tedious work among the members who put down their, all, their, their, their real egos to really see the interest of all. And for me, I always say this, say this, the best example that we have to note is seeing France and Germany coming on doesn't show that there is any love. In business, it's not a matter of love. It's a matter of interest. It's not a matter of emotions. It's a matter of interest. Seeing France and Germany, people who were millions of the counterparts at the Second World War, this is just a few years later on, coming on and being together, it doesn't mean that there is not an issue of love. It's an issue of interest. They wanted to compete the, the, with, with the dollar and they put on that, that money. Because for me, I really see that as the main point. If you want to get in that vision, we have to be realistic and look at the truth and look at the truth in face and see what you can do because there's basically the problem of desirability and also feasibility you know how far and the desire or the will i believe the will is there the will is strong but in reality we haven't perceived that we need to get above the emotions i'll take only two examples of two countries or you know, in the in the in the, 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 the in the Central African Union, a country. I took take two. Co I'll take a country. I will take our brothers. I just greeted them in in, in Spanish. I take Equatorial Guinea. The will, the population is there. The will is there because I had business, some business some time ago in that country in Bata, the the the, the continental part. And uh, for how many years you've been seeing the head of state working to bring that regional organization on? Because basically, when the 53 members came on, the first step they moved to say the regional organization were going to be strengthened and come up with their own currency that was going to move to give now a continental currency. But how far it is? Because up to, up to now, we can see that really it's only like uh, West Africa with. Uh, with the echo, <coughs> that something is coming on. But the, for the others, I take this example of the Afri, you know, the, the, our Central Africa counterpart friend, uh, country, Equatorial Guinea, which I know very well. That's uh, our, our members, the, the, the population would like to move to integrate with Cameroonians, for example, with Gabonese and all this. But anytime there's a little problem, the borders are locked. This is a reality. And when you take the city of Ibibain, which is a city, a special city, in the zone, Ibibain, for those who, are, who don't live there, Ibibain groups are there. You have Cameroon on one side, you have three countries, Gabon and uh, Central Africa Republic on the other side. And where I felt really sad is uh, uh, Equatorial Guinea invested billions to build auto, you know, motorways on its side to facilitate the exchanges between the countries. But this has not used up to now. This is years that they have built, over 10 years. It's been built, it's there, but it's empty. Why? Because of the lack of understanding. When there's a problem, a little problem that I understand also when you get deep in that issue, is the same kind of problem we live all over Africa. I don't think that in Europe you don't have these kinds of problems. But it wouldn't move to the level of br breaking down the economy or playing on the economy. I remember at once you had, uh, you, you had food, you had... All, 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 all these trucks they were they were going to board and cross over but they didn't because there was just an issue of one man who shot uh, a citizen in uh, this or that country and he was closed and for months and for months and for months up to the time where people had to go across the bush to pass through the bush 
on the you, 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 we can't imagine we go around Africa we face this kind of thing but we need to get above the emotions get above just keeping at the level of the vision and really that dream as you said again is not just done today because I believe it is even one of the reasons why the West had to kill Gaddafi because that was in the heart of Gaddafi to bring to bring Africa all together behind a single currency but what up to now we have been talking more the African Union we look at it more in the political angle which is not really a, a reality which is not a practical reality because people need to leave all these union they are made to make a better life to give a better life to people and better means we have to look at the economical part of it and it is not successful so what is the real problem we need to know we will never leave without be that the problems free within countries of our region or in Africa. We'll always have them. But we need to separate the problems that we can face within states with the economic growth as a whole. And that means bringing Africa to look at the side of macroeconomy more than the little economies. And this is where I'm talking about how realistic it is. Because now, moving within countries, if I take again these two countries that I know very well, within the country of Equatorial Guinea, you'll see again an issue of travel, where, you know, to succeed as a businessman, you need to come from me. Oh, that's right. You go in Cameroon, you see the same. It's not Nigeria. You, I know Nigeria has really made, made great steps on that, you know, to get above that. But I feel we need to know that we will always have problems, but get above.